What's up, gang? This is Frank Vega, and this is my studio. If you haven't done so, subscribe and hit that bell twice. All right? Here we go. Frank Vega Studio. Yes, welcome back to 1.30 in the afternoon on a Sunday, and uh, today we are, hopefully you're listening to the background music right there, that's my father's music, um, I won't be able to interact with the chat due to the setup that I have for this live, um, so Today, we're gonna be talking about this guy right here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so I have, uh, I purchased a while back um, some items from Shoe Surgeon. The Shoe Surgeon company, it's a company that dedicates themselves to create a highly unique uh, footwear pieces. So they work a lot with the AJ1. They also work with um, Adidas, uh, Stan Lee. Uh, so in the break, in the summer break, I intended to work on these guys right here, but got caught up in other stuff so I never got to it so today I'm gonna really uh, go through this item in here um, as you can see the boxes are not in the shipping box um, some of them came broken but they were kind enough to send me replacement boxes. So thank you. This is so dusty, sorry, let me just. Thank you to the people from uh, Shoe Surgeon for being so kind and send me a replacement box. They send me a new box. I believe, I believe I have another one somewhere in there, somewhere. So, um, so we're gonna talk about this guy as well. Yeah, we're gonna talk about this guy as well. So let's put him to the side. And we're gonna talk about this guy. Yeah, this guy in a moment. So let's put this guy to the side. I love this box, the presentation, like, I love it. You know, this is what I envision. That, I mean, if you see my brand, my brand is black and gold. So I love this uh, shimmery, uh, iridescent, uh, iridescent color changing gold uh, on the box. It just looks amazing. Here, here we have the Michael Jordan AJ1 shoelace. The shoelace always comes first. This is where everything um, is designed. All right, the shoe it's built around this. This is what simulates your foot to be. All right, so this is a nine and a half. AJ1 shoe surgeon shoe school. So they de they dedicate themselves to train people on how to uh, um, um, 
Yeah, shoe surgeon dedicate themselves to train people. Uh, I believe they're in LA, and uh, they train people on how to make shoes, like custom shoes, like very beautiful pieces and very limited uh, pieces. You know, some of them are one of a kind, and they go for five thousand dollars and above. You know, they have some low top that they go for lower, uh, but yeah, those are the prices that they are they are bidding with. So let's continue with this box. So we have this guy right here. So all of you out there know that if you rock a nine and a half, you can acquire a custom made AJ1 created by this hand here at my studio. Okay, so this baggie right here, we have some tools in here. Let's see what we have. Alright, got a little hammer. Mm, not impressive. Just a simple hammer. Okay, I love this uh, lasting pliers. I have another pair, but uh, those are the ones with a broad tip. This ones have a thin tip, so you can really go into the shoe when you're lasting the shoe. And the little hammer, and they laser engrave. Girl logo there, nice touch. This hammer, take back. Um, yeah, like the hammer, not even branded or nothing like that. It's just a regular hammer. They can do much better with the hammer. You know, like branded up, like a, you know, like some black handle, logo engraved. They can do that. All right. What else? Okay, let's see. Oh, all right, we have some uh, color pens here for the patterns. Red, blue, and a uh, silver pen, and a uh, folding. A bone folder. Alright, marking pens. You see the bone folder, they went to the extent of branded up, it's engraved, laser engraved. You see that's how the hammer has to be done. This I like, I put it here to the side. This, yes, they're always necessary. You see again, black. This is the brand. So yeah, shoe surgeon peeps out there, you gotta brand up that hammer and send me a new hammer. Yeah, I love this. This is cool. By the way, this is not being sponsored by the shoe surgeon people. This is an unboxing of what I've purchased from them. Love the bag. Nice strong canvas. Again with the logo. Stamped on that leather right there. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, more toys. Oh wow, okay. Um, this uh, go to the hammer. Yeah, kid. 
yeah you know i have this right now for a few months here in this box and i haven't opened it so i'm excited as you can see i'm not faking it okay so this is the perfect stuff right here yeah kid nice okay we have the all oh my gosh I I was looking for one of these the other day. Now I know I have one here. Oh. Team Reaper. Hey, Morales. Skyving knife. This is I have one here that is open somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is it to um, shave off the edges of your leather when you want to sew it up together. And this is a Osborne, CS Osborne um, sewing all. This is for hand sewing for the soul. Okay, so let's put this back in here. Love this, love this tool right here. This we keep. be on top of the bone folder because it might break so let me put the bone folder the scissors can come out because they're hard they can go in there all right so scissors go back in there left and pliers go back in there love it love this first part um my critique and it's a constructive critique to um, the people from Shoe Surgeon out there. Is that you gotta do better. You gotta do better than this. And I mean, I get it. But I would put a little more effort of also trying to wrap this up. Because you guys are going a lot. So just for these details right here are a little bit outside of the whole brand but so far man two thumbs up all right now for the materials so let's move these guys out of the side put them somewhere All right, so let's start. Let's start taking. So this, okay. So shoe surgeon, they send, they sell different packages. So you can buy a box with different leather material scraps they call it scraps so this is the box of leather scraps you can also buy the shoe lads they have different lads for different shoes there you can listen to them shoes shoesurgeon.com i believe is the website and you can buy the tools so i bought the tools i bought these tools right here it's not like you get one package you have to like put your package together Sort of, kind of. The same with the shoe last. I believe the price of the shoe last is five hundred dollars or something like that. For uh, um, Christmas time, I believe holiday season, they do sales, uh, good ones. So you might want to wait for holidays and purchase from them because you get shoe last for like, from five hundred dollars, which is uh, great savings. You can buy materials with the whole different biscuits and all that. So, all right. So now they have two sort of, they have two boxes. They have a box of um, all this uh, remnants of leather. Um, and they have another one with exotic pieces, I believe. So this is the regular one. So let's start taking leather out. So I believe they send you enough leather for you to make a few pairs so nice 
this or like this. It has a lot of uh, character. The natural markings from the cow. Mm. Smells delicious. Alright, so here we have a uh, what it was a red cobra skin. So this is called cobra, alright? This is real cobra right here. It's not the fake phone. This is the real deal right here. So we are seeing this together. I haven't taken nothing from out of here since I bought this. Okay, we got some soft. Uh, this is like buff leather. So you see them when I touch, it was buff with some soft sanding machine. And then this one is the hair side. You can see, oh no, it's not sorry. This is the flesh side. You can see like kind of the suede side. And this is the grain side that it was buffed up with some left from the sanding. Okay, we have more of this white, more of this white. So yeah, you can uh, you can cut from here the swoosh, for example. And we're gonna be talking about the pattern in the moment. Black stretching. Ooh. Wow, very stretching. Stretching this way. Not this way. Something similar to this, some bone leather. It's like glove leather. Again, we have that stretchy black. That's some veg tan. Oh, I love this gray. Oh, there's some, something here coming up. So if I see something that looks very interesting to the eye, I will pull it up to the camera. Like this guy. Wow. Look at this. This right here. It's an upper. Wow. Look at this. This is really something else. <laughs> yeah. Love this material right here. So far, this leather, and it's a big, 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 big piece. It's like a half. It's almost like, yeah, that's like a sock. Oh, okay. Black. Black. Ooh, cow, heroin. More pieces of heroin. More heroin. Mm. More heroin. More. More pieces of vinyl. More hair.
or gold, yellow. Okay, what is this? This bathroom? Yeah. This bathroom material. It's not like for lining, maybe. I'm not sure. And then this material right here. Okay. Interesting. So, okay. That was uh, quite a ride unboxing this. Um, Opening this box actually because it was already taken out of the shipping box. I guess that's what you call it unboxing, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so that was the box with the materials and the tools that I could finally start using because I didn't want to use them until I showed them to you guys. Now we're going to go to this box right here. So here we have this other box and this box is like lining and this is the filler and vacuum and toe cap. Uh, this is the thermal of toe so, uh, toe cap, thermal toe materials, and, uh, and, yeah. This material is for the footbed of the shoe. The foam. Okay. This guy right here, it's the thermal for the heel counter. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I, uh, yeah. Okay. So, now, so how this is done? So how do you get, how do you get to remake uh, a classic shoe like the Michael Jordan shoe the AJ1 which the AJ1 is the shoe that changed the the, change the design of basketball so believe it or not I am 45 years old and I never got a pair of these guys when they came out. So that was a little bit of sadness for me. <laughs> Sad tears. So um, now as an adult, I was able to buy me a pair. But what happened? That I needed another pair in order for me to remake a full Michael Jordan shoe. 
so what do I mean by that I'm gonna just walk around here my table real quick and uh, go at a full cup or a full unit for making sneakers generic uh, soul units so this right here is a nine and a half soul unit okay. you can buy this online and as you can see if I put it in here my Michael Jordan shoe lap fits, fits into this guy right here okay but then that's not a, that's not the shoe because you don't have the air unit in here or nothing like that so what you have to do is buy yourself buy yourself a pair of Michael Jordan shoes AJ1 in this case so now back to my sad story of buying my first pair so I had to buy me two pairs so that's what I did so I bought me two pairs the one that I chose to use love this love this thread love that shimmery detail you know the shoe is like very inconspicuous you know I love it love it love it love it yeah, so this is the one I kept. And this is the one that I sacrificed. You might ask yourself, Frank, what do you mean by sacrificing the shoes? Those shoes are expensive. Yeah, they are expensive, you're completely right, and they become more expensive once they get broken down, and, uh, and get remade. Like I, I mentioned before, you can go to shoesurgeon.com and look at the prices for this uh, type of sneakers, because they're one-offs, okay? So... I bought me two pairs, right? This is the box with the gray was in, and this is this guy right here. So, are you ready for this? So, you have to take the shoe. So in here, is the air unit, okay, right in here. So we have the original Michael Jordan air unit bottom. So now if I go like this, you see how big this is right here, it dances? Yeah, it's because doesn't have the materials, but one has the materials. Let me put this guy right here. Yeah, like that. Boom. So, as you can see, I started to take the shoe apart. So I did this one already. See, this is the vinyl from the box that I showed you before. That's that uh, green material that you saw before. Here's an orange. So they use it for the toe reinforcement, reinforcement area, backing. Insole, or not the insole, but this is. 
Air Jordan. So, this doesn't belong here. So, you see, I had to undo all the shoe. Some parts I have to take to break down. And separate. I did this with all very cautiously because you don't want to really break the parts. You really want to keep uh, the integrity. You see, this is where you learn how to how they make you. So this is where the foam goes, or that foam that you saw before is in here. This is the foam here. This is the counter, the heel counter. So you see it's a thermal plastic. Uh, material and then they put another reinforcement right here the tongue and more foam in here so I have to do that to this guy right here on that one, I'm going to record myself doing that process, so that way you can see it. I also learned, um, um, I also learned that I need a convection oven. Uh, in order for me like, to finally, finally cure these guys once they're done. So, um, I have a bunch of materials right here. I have like this shiny, uh, this is cowhide with a uh, lizard or reptile if you want to call it like that, embossing. And I have this shade in blue, as you see, like deep blue, red, and cognac. And then I have all this other, I have a bunch of letters here um, that I want to play with this guy. I'm gonna use their their materials too, but I have some materials here that they're more elevated than the scrap box that they send me because those are scrap. So my materials are more elevated. So um yeah, um this is the unboxing of this AJ1. Um I want to Thank you. I hope that you didn't find this boring at all. This is very interesting. And for that reason, I hope that you like uh, this content and you have subscribed and hit that bell twice. Um, and you can make any comments. I will see them uh, later. Uh, any suggestions, materials, uh, I don't know, whatever. Whatever that is related to the subject at hand. So hey, people, this is Fran Vega, and this is my studio, and this was the unboxing of Shoe Surgeon uh, AJ1 project. And oh no 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 no, I lied because you know what? I totally forgot.
this one last part. So, This is what you're seeing here. It's the Air Jordan 1 Night Air Night Air Jordan 1 size 9 pattern. It runs from 9 to 9.5, and, and I have the 9.5 shoe less. So these things are, they cost a lot of money to have. So this is all the pattern for you to make the shoe. I have to cut this by hand and then repeat it again with the shoe parts. All right, so now this is the end of this. Hey gang, Frank Rigger here. I hope you really like this one. Uh, thanks for watching. designer.